Hi, welcome back to Cadible. Today we will do a very simple exercise of uh, Lego brick. First of all, we will model it in SolidWorks and then we will uh, render it in Keyshot. I have attached all files for practice. Let's start the tutorial. Just go to new and uh, select part and press OK. And now we are in SolidWorks uh, designing interface. First of all, I'll change my background to plain white. And now I'll choose uh, sketch. And now I'll choose front plane. And now I'll draw a rectangle. Let's say a corner rectangle. Uh, I have to choose uh, my units. So it is default. Uh, the, the default units in SOLIDWORKS 2020 is uh, MMGS. So no need to choose it again and uh, I'll choose a corner rectangle. Uh, I'll draw a rectangle of uh, 32 by 16. Go to smart dimension and uh, the dimension of this line is 32 mm and the other line is 16 mm. Uh, after this go to exit and now I'll extrude it to 9 mm. So just change it to 9mm and press OK. So the cube is done and now I'll uh, draw a circle on the top face of this cube. Just select the face and uh, go to sketch tab, select a sketch and uh, uh, for better uh, for better view, I, I'll choose uh, a normal and now I'll choose a circle. I'll make a circle of uh, let's say 5 mm. The die is 5. Uh, the circle is, uh, uh, is blue. Uh, we can drag it uh, anywhere in this plane. So I have to constrain it and uh, the dimension from the center line to the top line is uh, let's say 4 mm uh, i can still drag it in uh, uh, one axis so i have to make uh, another constraint from the vertical line to the center line again and uh, the dimension will be same 4 mm and uh, just uh, select and make it 4 mm now uh, the circle is uh, Fully defined, the sketch has turned into black. So, uh, I'll go to linear sketch pattern and uh, uh, I have to make uh, four number of uh, uh, patterns, four number of the circles, and uh, four in uh, uh, x axis and uh, uh, the same four in, uh, uh, in y axis. So, uh, total of eight, and now I'll select. Uh, uh, I'll select my lines and select my circle. Just make it reverse and uh, I'll choose uh, total number 8 and I have to make it reverse. The direction is wrong here. Just make it reverse and uh, the fourth circle is going uh, uh, out of this uh, uh, out of this face. So just making it uh, right 8 mm and uh, I need another row of same circles just make it reverse just make it reverse and uh, again it is going out of the face so I have to choose uh, 8 mm instead of uh, 10 mm just default by SOLIDWORKS remember I am using SOLIDWORKS uh, 2020 just select OK and now press exit and now we will go to features tab just rotating our model uh, we'll go to features tab and we'll extrude it to let's say uh, 1 mm just go to extrude and uh, i'll change it to 1 mm i think 1.5 would be suitable just select ok and uh, next i'll choose uh, shell command on the back of this uh, uh, lego brick so go to shell 
and just select the just select the uh, bottom surface and select ok and now we are done with the shell command uh, last but not least I will have to make another sketch on the uh, bottom of the uh, lego brick uh, here I will make uh, 5 circles 4 circles will be of uh, let us say 5 mm uh, they will be all equal circles and with the help of those uh, 4 circles uh, I will make uh, a circle on the center and uh, the middle circle will be tangent to all those four circles uh, this is the middle circle and uh, these are four uh, smaller circles of uh, uh, equal diameter and I have to make it uh, through a uh, equal relation now I'll go to smart dimension and I'll make it uh, 5 mm and uh, now I'll select uh, all of these four circles not the middle one and I'll choose uh, equal relation here and uh, the middle circle will be tangent to all those four circles just select tangent relation select tangent relation another tangent relation I think three circles would be enough to uh, to define this middle circle just select tangent relation and now uh, the middle circle is also turned into black so it is fully defined now I will go to uh, linear sketch uh, command uh, in fact uh, first of all uh, uh, I will make a uh, I will make one offset of uh, 1 mm uh, reverse selection and uh, yes uh, now I will go to linear sketch uh, command and uh, I have to make uh, uh, two more number of uh, uh, this uh, middle circle with the offset circle as well just uh, select 8 mm uh, I think 8 mm would be uh, would be a right guess just select 8 mm and now uh, as you can see the this circle is also tangent to uh, those uh, two reference circles and now we are done with this command just go to exit and now I'll extrude the, the the middle portion of this uh, circle uh, just select it uh, unselect just go to contour and uh, this is the right contour uh, and now uh, go to uh, vertex uh, I have to choose uh, this line just select ok uh, lastly uh, I'll apply some fillet to this uh, lego bit a fillet of uh, 1.2 uh, in fact uh, 0.2 mm would be enough so uh, I'll just select it uh, the lines and uh, uh, the top of this uh, extrude uh, it will automatically snap all those uh, similar circles just rotating my assembly uh, in fact my part is not the assembly remember this is a uh, part modeling just unselect it uh, I think we are almost done with this uh, with this fillet command just two more and uh, select ok so we are done with this fillet command as well and we are done with this uh, uh, lego brick modeling just uh, checking my fillet uh, it is done and now I will go to uh, just rotating my model uh, now I'll go to uh, tools just uh, go to tools go to uh, go to key shot and send to key shot key shot will take some time to open remember uh, uh, it is a rendering software so it takes uh, some time to open just rotating my assembly uh, in fact uh, rotating my part this is not the assembly I don't need uh, color uh, I'll need uh, a white background so this is the SOLIDWORKS interface I think this uh, the blue texture or uh, the blue color would be fine remember we are in plastic uh, 
uh, we are uh, we are giving it a plastic uh, texture of uh, of uh, blue color uh, i need uh, another uh, lego brick because uh, uh, i can't show the uh, back side of this uh, brick so just go to uh, duplicate and just drag it so keyshot will give you another uh, lego brick and now i'll just uh, rotate it uh, doing uh, i'll rot uh, rotate it uh, to my uh, uh, desired uh, to my desired location and we are almost uh, i think we are almost uh, done with this uh, you can apply many textures many colors or uh, uh, many you know uh, many environments to this uh, design i think now we'll go to colors and i'll apply a blue color uh, in fact a green color to this and uh, let's say i'll apply an orange sort of a color to this brick and uh, this looks uh, very fine to me and, uh, we can apply many textures uh, but i'll not apply any uh, texture to this we can apply a key shot texture as well and uh, remember i'm using a key shot 9 just applying this I think no need to apply here this, just uh, press Ctrl Z and uh, just press, uh, just press uh, Ctrl Z, uh, I don't need this uh, uh, back, uh, back plates or uh, backgrounds, just go to render, uh, before doing rendering uh, I'll go to my uh, final image settings I need a one uh, 720 by 180 and this looks fine just go to render and uh, these are the basic settings of uh, this rendering uh, 10,000 dpi just go to options I need 256 sample so it is a uh, a bit uh, time taking rendering go to render and Keyshot will calculate your uh, model. Uh, it will take some time to will take some time to render. Uh, we are almost done with this rendering, and we are almost done with this uh, tutorial. Uh, so uh, that's it for uh, today's tutorial of. Uh, how to make or how to model a Lego brick in uh, SolidWorks and uh, render it in Keyshot. I hope you have enjoyed this and uh, you have learned this. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel uh, for more videos. Thank you.